Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Flashing Lights. We have new DLC for the game. That's right, the Truck Bundle. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit um, questioning how useful it is. I feel like this is kind of, um, you know, I, I, there's a lot of things you can't do with a pickup truck, basically. Uh, there's a lot of things you could do with a pickup truck. But that's not necessarily in this DLC. I feel like this DLC is more so for those who are fans of pickup trucks and specifically um, those who want to support flashing lights who maybe bought the game way back like myself. So that's kind of the reason why I have the DLC here for the pickup trucks. It's I, I, I just don't know how useful they're going to be, but I'm going to keep an open mind here as we get into this. So, um, you know, let's take a look. I think we're going to start off with the police. We're going to try and take a look at all three roles here, kind of just to gauge um, how useful it is in all three roles. But we're going to start with uh, the police there. We're going to take a look at all of the trucks uh, and we're going to try and do some call outs. OK, so here we are on the vehicle selection screen. I'm going to select the uh, pickup truck here. and we're, Let's just take kind of a look at it here in it. So as you can see, um, it's a double cab there, so that's nice. Um, bit of a short bed, but you know, that, honestly, I, it's kind of this thing about how, 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 how useful is it going to be overall? It looks like, yeah, it looks like there's a divider there, so you can put a suspect in the back seat here of the pickup truck. So uh, that's good to see. Um, so I think the police officers and maybe the firefighter are the roles where this could be the most useful. I'm somewhat skeptical on the firefighter because it feels like you always need to have, uh, you know, some form of putting out the fire there. That's usually why you're responding to a call. Although you do respond to some vehicle accidents. So uh, if for the firefighter in the back there, they have the, um, the spreaders there so you can open up the vehicle there. Um, you know, that that's uh, that's. That makes it more practical, but I, I just don't see how it can be very useful for the EMT since you're pretty much always transporting someone to the hospital. That's kind of my criticism here, but let, let's take a look here. Okay, so here it is. We have our undercover uh, police truck. And I have to say, you wouldn't assume that this would be, uh, you know, a police truck. So I think this is great for role play purposes. They also added the ability uh, to uh, do, you know, be a civilian and... Uh, have um, a civilian drive a civilian truck, so that's pretty neat. Uh, the main thing I want to see here is okay. Let's open it up here. Yep, we have the divider, so you can you can put two people in the back here. Um, I'm not sure if that's really the call for us. So what equipment do we have here? I assume we have access to pretty much all the standard shotgun, rifle. Yeah, that's great. Uh, traffic, speed gun, spike strips. Traffic vests, traffic cones, road flares. It looks like we have, um... Yeah, it looks like we have, uh, pretty much the standard control, uh, you know, the standard stuff there, um, for equipment. So that's good to see. So, uh, let's hop on in. It sits a little low, I feel, but, you know, I, I kind of would have liked it if it was, you know, up a little higher. Okay, so we got a call about an intoxicated person. I don't know if they're here or not, uh, but we're actually... Alright, I think the intoxicated person or persons are right over here. So this is a tight little area. I gotta say, the handling on the truck's pretty good. It's better than some of the vehicles. Alright. Um, yeah, I'd say they're intoxicated. Alright, so let's get their ID. Josh Hunt. Let's give him an alcohol test. Yeah, you're over. Yeah, that's destroying evidence there. Okay, I love how he somehow managed to drop two bottles. Uh, once when we gave him the alcohol test, and the other time when we frisked him. Uh, we're gonna just put you back here. Please don't throw up in my nice new truck. And we're gonna check your buddy. Yes, jumping still sucks in this game. That always froze me. Okay. Um... Right, first we want to ask for your ID. Alright, Gregory Bennett. 
Um, well, we're gonna give you an alcohol test. What do you know? He's over. Yeah. You're being cuffed. Well, we still gotta frisk him, but uh, let's bring him back over here. Yep, just his ID card, okay. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, with the pickup truck, we can still put two suspects in it, so that's nice, you know. Ooh. Good braking on it, too. Okay, I'm pretty sure this guy just ran um, a red light, but we're not going to, you know, we got two people already. This truck only holds two people there. But I suppose, I don't know, I've never tried putting someone in the passenger seat. That would be interesting. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna look at the uh, pickup truck now for the firefighter. As you can see, this one's got the uh, cover here. Um, so we've got uh, it's, you know, a lot of storage there with that. So um, I'm not really gonna trick it out very much here. Honestly, it's kind of this thing here where, it, as I said, I'm not sure that it makes a big difference having the truck versus having any of, the, of, any of these other vehicles here. Um, but you know, as I said, this, if nothing else, this is nice flavor. I mean, for the uh, police, yeah, it was great. Um, but let's see how it is here for the firefighter. Um, so our vehicle's ready. Here it is. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what nice tools we have here. So a uh, little pant door here on the sides uh, doesn't do anything. But uh, over in here, uh, if we go to rescue... Yeah, we got the spreaders. So uh, let's take... Oh, let's take this call. This is completely coincident. Oh, shoot. I accidentally brought up the chat. There we go. That was the problem. Did I take the call? Yep. All right. So we're going to respond to that motor vehicle collision because we should be able to help with that. I'm not sure. I probably should have customized the sirens a bit better here. <laughs> we hit all reds. Okay, so let's see how well we can serve as basically a paramedic here with the truck. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the medic bag. We're going to tend to this person here. All right, so um, we're gonna inspect the patient. We've, you know, you've seen this before. Not breathing, no pulse, and con. Wait, unconscious. I think it said. <laughs> yeah, unconscious. I was gonna say not breathing. They have a pulse, but uh, or sorry, not breathing, no pulse, but uh, they're conscious. You know that that would be uh, quite a feat. All right, so we're gonna have to perform CPR here. Um, so for that. I don't know why, but it has us remove the clothes. Um, next, we're going to perform CPR here. In reality, I feel like we should be call, you know, calling in for and making sure an ambulance gets here first. All right, so now it talks about, you know, once again, um, the ECG leads. Uh, well, oh, come with me, sir. I need your help. She needs air. Back up. Um, again. All we have is the medic bag. You know, we don't have um, anything else to use there in that situation. So I feel like the least they could have done, you know, for these vehicles um, is give us a way to also help with that. Um, so we're just going to have to request transport. There's nothing else we can do. We need an ambulance to respond to this call um, and treat that. This is where that multiplayer thing comes in where um, ideally you would send an ambulance here first and then they'd say, well, yeah, we're gonna need the fire department also to, um, you know, get the spreaders and stuff. 
This tool is not available in this vehicle. Well, what? Well, why is it an option? I mean, why is that in there if it's not an option? I, I mean, that means we cannot help this person here. Okay, so right there, that's a huge strike against um, the truck here. I mean, it's reasonable to believe that this truck cannot uh, help save the person if there's a fire. Well, I shouldn't say save a person, but let's say that dino is on fire. Yeah, obviously I'm not going to be able to put out the fire with that truck. Um, let's face it, that makes sense. But um, we should be able to carry the spreaders in the back of that thing, and we should be able to get this person out. The fact that the truck doesn't have the spreaders, um, that's a big strike against it here, because what callouts is this truck really good for becomes the question here. This would have been the probably the best callout for this truck. That or actually the best call out for this truck is please tell me it has the chainsaw. All right, let's see here. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we got the chainsaw. All right, well, that's something at least. So this vehicle has one call out I think that it's appropriate for. Everything else, it's basically maybe just backup if you need, you know, okay, one of your friends is going to be driving the big old, you know, fire. Oh, it's, uh, it's, you know, vehicles and stuff with so that you can put out fires and then maybe you respond to the scene as well in this um, You know, it allows you to I don't know it just this is this was my concern um, This was my concern basically is that the truck would not be able to be used for the majority of calls and Sure enough, uh, we can't use it for a lot of calls. I think what they need to do is add like um, other tasks here besides call out for the fire department like um, you have to go do here's a good example um, so I'm driving along and uh, yeah I have to pull over here to the diner and we have to do a fire inspection make sure uh, the fire system works correctly or something like that um, that would be a you know that would be some good content here that they can build on to make vehicles like the truck more useful. Let's see what the truck can do. I mean, let's at least take a look at it. So it's basically the same as the fire truck, except for painted white. Um, you know, pretty much the same model otherwise. Allergic reaction. Suggested vehicle. Ambulance. Again, this isn't an ambulance. We cannot transport the person. Um, let's just go to the call anyways. Um, I'm not sure which residence it is because, uh, instructions unclear. Um, I think it's the next house. I think it's this one right here. Yep, that, alright, that, that's helpful that that came up. Oh, yeah, we need the medic bag. Alright, let's take a look at what we got here. What are we actually working with? Um, fire extinguisher and halogen. Medic bag, defibrillator, stretcher? Yeah, I was gonna say, that that's not available. So, I'm kind of disappointed that they include the generic menus for the vehicles, even though, um... A lot of that stuff isn't necessarily available. Alright, so we're gonna inspect the patient. All right, so we're gonna give him an antihistamine shot here. So, uh, medications. Oh yes, that's right. We have to remove his clothes to give him a shot, apparently. Uh, that's still... <laughs> um, right, medications, it's the one at the bottom. I always stop at the, uh, at the medic, but... Okay, we gave it to him, apparently. And so, yeah, now we got to request transport. I'm curious, if I hit the move to stretcher... Alright, so it is gonna detect that no stretcher is available. See, as I said, I mean, if you don't... I suppose the advantage of the truck is that if I don't want to transport people to a hospital, I just want to respond to the call out and help them. You know, the truck is useful for a paramedic in that regard. So, I mean, I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the truck for the paramedic a pass. Um, hang on. There we go, trunk. You know, for a paramedic, the truck can be useful. All right. You know, specifically, as I said, if you don't want to do the, uh, it's, you know, have to transport the person, you can always call for an ambulance itself. So I guess you could think of yourself as a more rapid response unit here. Um, 
So, you know, that's a that's a plus for uh, this vehicle. Another thing to note is that, you know, they, they plan on adding more kind of multiplayer friendly stuff. So, for example, the idea of um, calling in for backup. Uh, so, you know, that's something nice that can be done. But at the same time, I just, you know, this is good for that. But at the same time, you know, I'm, I was actually pleasantly surprised by the uh, by the police. Although I feel like we gotta take another look there because I didn't properly. Uh, I'm gonna turn off my turn signal. I didn't properly check out the uh, you know the back of the truck. What's truly available there and stuff. Okay, so we got the uh, undercover truck here back again. So let's let's actually take a look here. What we have available? Do we have the shotgun? Yes, we have the shotgun. We're gonna have to go through it like this. Um, let's put it back. Do we have the rifle? I'd be shocked if we didn't have the rifle. Yep, we got the rifle. Excellent. I assume we can reload ammo. That that shouldn't be any different there. Um, traffic. I mean, the only thing. Yeah, we got we got the spike. We got the speed gun. Um, so traffic, I assume we have everything there. Additional, um, yeah, I mean, we see, see a fire extinguisher there. Or, bleh, fire extinguisher there. So, yeah, I'd assume we have a fire extinguisher. Uh, door ramp. Yeah, we got, so we've got all the tools here for the police officer. We can transport people in the back. Uh, yeah, I mean, the pickup truck is useful. Um, you know, I'm very impressed with the pickup truck for the police officer. Um, it does it, you know, it, it's kind of just, once again, flavoring. Um, you know, do you want to drive a pickup truck? Which, you know, as I said, this is great for role play here. Okay, I'm role playing as an undercover uh, who just ran a stop sign as part of, you know, my undercover scheme there, you know. Hello, hello, fellow criminals. How's it going? But yeah, I mean, overall, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Uh, the DLC is nice if you want to, you know, help support the game. It doesn't cost much. I paid, what, two dollars and something cents? How much was it? Hang on. I still got the little... Uh, how much did I pay? Yeah, two dollars and sixty-nine cents is what I paid for this. You know, that's that's not bad. It, it just gives you more vehicles. I would have liked to have seen more content surrounding the vehicles, specifically, you know, to make the like the firefighter more useful. Like I said, um, if you could inspect things like that as the firefighter, that would be um, kind of neat. You know do like a firefighter inspection then the truck would be very useful if you plan on doing stuff like that so yeah you get a call out saying yeah the mini uh market uh you know needs its uh, you know needs to have its uh fire uh system uh, you know checked or maybe uh there's you know that diner it needs to be checked to make sure it's in compliance you know do a fire inspection that vehicle would then be oh uh, let's turn here it would be useful then but in its current state the truck is absolutely pointless for a firefighter, except for one call out. I'm not even sure it has a ladder to get a cat out of a tree, but so yeah, sorry, you can still, I found two call outs that you can use the fire truck, uh, the truck for the firefighter for. Um, you can use the pickup truck to rescue the cat out of the tree by using the chainsaw and using the chainsaw to clear a road, um, you know, from a tree. Those are the two things you can do with it, pretty much. Anything else, it, it if they had at least added the spreaders, that would have made sense. I don't see why the spreaders can't possibly fit in the back of the truck. Um, it makes no sense to me. But yeah, um, I have to say, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be worse. I really like the handling of the trucks. Um, <laughs> I guess you could transport a suspect to court in the pickup truck, although that would be, ooh, that would be kind of weird. But yeah, I mean, overall, I think it, it's, it's, I think it's all right. I think it's a nice little addition for role play. The only thing that hurts it is that it feels like it's a useless addition for one third of the game, basically, you could say. Um, but that's fine. For what, you know, the way I see it, okay, yeah, you paid, you know, two dollars in some sense, so that's basically, uh, you know, 
one dollar for each part of the game and then a little bit extra but yeah i mean i'm, I'm impressed I, i'm happy with it um you know i don't think everyone's gonna like it i feel like it is still more something to help support the game's fervor development and to thank the developers for those who have purchased it you know early on and stuff um you know i think it's great i'd like to see more dlc but more dlc that adds uh stuff that um you know truly enhances the game anyways thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this look at the trucks as i said overall i am actually pleasantly surprised i know it sounds like i'm being a little bit harsh here on it and maybe i am you know what what do you think am i being too harsh on the trucks is this you know just a good way of supporting the game um is it really useful as i said i i i feel like i'm going to use the truck as the police officer it's kind of fun but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below is this you know good dlc or not have a great day everyone